accurate local forecast starts now with Chief Meteorologist Eric Finkenbinder. Hey, we're just tacking on another quiet day and each evening gets a little bit milder and perhaps giving us more of that opportunity or more of that, you know, just that feeling of getting outside and just enjoying the, the last remaining hours or minutes of sunset here as we show you Lewistown and Duncan and Louisville and Mifflin Town. The highs today. And we said each day gets a little bit milder. Now I'm always picking the warmest. A lot of us warmed about mid upper 40s, but we hit 51 in Louisville. Edders at 50, Chambersburg, Waynesboro, 49 to 50 degrees. Looking at now mid to upper 40s still happening at this hour. And we have about another, eh, I'd say half hour, 45 minutes of that light as we're starting to see at least a little more daylight here as we get closer to the uh, evening hours and six o'clock. Uh, currently, I, I've been pointing out a lot of mild air. Remember, this is early February. This should be some of our colder and snowier uh, times of the year. 47 in Denver is mild, even near 50 in Boise. So there's no real cold air yet. Uh, yes, there is a pattern transition that we do begin to see develop the second half of February, but I think that brings us much closer to the average high and low. So it will certainly feel colder. Anyway, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Dry air in place now. Uh, more clouds, uh, more moisture, but that's also giving us return flow, which means we'll be milder during the day and mild at night too. So we'll start off with a little bit of sun tomorrow morning. More in the way of clouds though tomorrow afternoon. So that is sort of the beginning of what we see. Uh, milder air and more clouds moving into the weekend too. Here's Friday morning. Could be a passing sprinkle, but really, the majority of our Friday is going to be dry. As a matter of fact, it does open it up to more sunshine. If there's a day you want to enjoy sunshine and highs into the mid to even upper 50s, Friday is certainly that day. Saturday, there will likely be more clouds around. We'll get to the weekend here, which is still going to be mild, but you're going to start to hear more and more talk about uh, a coastal storm or a storm along the coast or a big storm or maybe even a uh, round of snow. Let's kind of just iron it out a little bit for you. This is what we see early next week, and this is Monday into Tuesday. And notice a lot of this is showing that we'd get around a rain, but you notice how close the snow is too. So if you hear about it, it's around, but I would say right now it's looking more rain, perhaps mixing with a little bit of wet snow moving into early next week. But until that happens, and really we have plenty of time to iron that out, we should be enjoying highs in the 50s, <laughs> 58 on Friday and Saturday. Uh, there could be a stray shower on Saturday. We're still mild on Sunday and then we get back to work. Then we'll start to focus a little bit more on what we see. But right now I would say more of a Monday night into Tuesday morning. Even temperatures are in the lower 40s. Really difficult to hold that snow around, but I still wouldn't be surprised to see some wet snowflakes mixing in. But right now I would say I kind of favor more rain than snow for us. All right. Thanks, Eric. Mm -hmm. Well, Taylor Swift's 